What's up everybody, my name is Chris and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm actually going to be doing like my nighttime routine of getting ready to take a shower, go to bed, and wake up refreshed for the next day. Um, and then also I'm going to be doing, the next video is going to be like my morning routine, so you guys know what I do when I get up. Um, so the first thing I do is pretty much I get my stuff ready to go take a shower, towel, underwear, clothes if I decide to wear clothes for that night. Um, most of the time I don't because it's more refreshing, cold air feels good. Um, and it's just easier to wake up to get ready in the morning for me at least. Um, so we're going to do that and then show you guys what products I use and how to go from there. So let's head to the bathroom. Now the first thing I do is pretty much just take my razor off the charger, throw my charger to the side and start going at my neck. Making sure I get I line up with my cheek line, my jaw line, um, edging it up and everything like that. As you can see, now I'm lining up on the edge where my cheek is at just to make sure I get some nice crisp line, even with a chargeable razor. Um, I hold my finger to my mustache and start edging up everywhere that actually touches the lip, just so I don't end up eating my mustache which usually happens most of the time um, clean out my razor and then rinse it out once I'm done and go from there now I plug my razor back in as you can tell by the light that pops up on the charger put it back in its little socket and get ready to brush my teeth now what's good is that all the hair that I shaved is either on my shirt or in the sink start off with a little bit of water put some toothpaste on can't go wrong with some Colgate and brush. I'm gonna speed this up for just a little bit. With this I just turn on the water make sure it's a perfect temperature um, it's kind of hard to see it should be right in the middle it's usually where I try to keep it um, go from there make sure the water gets to the right temperature and then I hop right on in now once in the shower grab my body wash get my body all nice and wet put a nice amount right in that loofah it looks kind of retarded but it works nice and wet, get the soap going, and just go ahead and scrub. Now you just want to maybe scrub for just each specific spot until you feel uh, a little bit clean. Um, I scrub it until like it tingles, because um, sometimes you know soaps have like that minty feeling, and especially with your face, they have like that feeling where you can tell that it's clean, I do that. Now with that spot, I go really slow because my tattoo is right there, the new tattoo, and I have specific soap for that. Scrub it and end up screwing up my new tattoo. I had to be very careful, you know, always make sure everything even down there is clean, so you can't go wrong with that. At this point, I decided to go ahead and start washing my new tattoo, grab the tattoo soap as I show here, and pour just a little bit amount on the tattoo, mainly not to over clean it. Um, it's already been cleaned because I clean it almost every day, a lot of times every day. Um, just lather it on, do a small amount, and just go in small circles, very lightly as one to not peel away any of the scabbing and flaking skin. And that way you don't end up messing up the ink underneath. Um, go ahead, rinse, and go to the next step. Up next is the exfoliating facial scrub. Pour a decent amount in there. And I look in the camera just to make sure that I'm doing everything right. Make sure I'm getting every single spot. 
spot and then close my eyes to go ahead and do the areas around my eyes. And like I said before, I usually scrub, like with the loofah, I usually scrub my body until I get that tingly feeling. I get that really well with this new facial scrub, even though it's from Equate, which is really good for some reason. Um, I don't have a problem with them. Scrub, scrub, scrub. If you can smell the mintiness. Um, and then just go until I get like, this tingly feeling that's like, hey Chris, your face is clean. Because I'm scrubbing now. Um, and that's when you see me turn around and rinse it off, like so. Now here is where I grab some lotion. I also have Equate Lotion. I don't grab a lot, just it's just to moisturize the skin because the exfoliant stuff does leave it dry. Put it on my face. And then I grab the Tattoo Goo Lotion, a little small amount, it takes a little bit to drop, just like that, small amount, and lather it onto my tattoo, again very lightly, and make sure that if you do put a lot of lotion, or you do put lotion on your tattoo, which you should, that you don't put a lot to smear it, if you see the lines on your tattoo um, of lotion, and you've put too much, you should be fine uh, with just a small amount, a little drop of lotion. Then take a swig of mouthwash. I hate mouthwash, it sucks, but it's very useful. Help kill bad breath. Nobody wants some bad breath. Take my little beard brush, go ahead and comb it out, brush it out just to get some edges in, and spit it out. Yep. You're a pansy because you can't take mouthwash. Rinse out the mouthwash in the sink, clean it out, and you're good to go back to your room. Alright, so now that I'm done in the shower, all I do is pretty much plug my phone in, turn my PlayStation off, if I'm watching YouTube, which I usually am. Shout out to Evan and Caitlin. Um, go to bed, set my alarm, well actually set my alarm, then go to bed, get ready for the next day. Um, tomorrow I actually gotta get up super early because I start work at 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, that actually could be another video that I can do for you guys, um, type of thing, you know, like, a day in the life of a bellman, record at work, if I'm allowed. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, stay tuned, have a good night.